Hello Koala Campers, welcome to Koala Corner. Jessica here with you once again. Thank you for tuning in for today's Arts and Crafts project. So here is a model of what we're going to be making today. This is going to be our last craft for our Zoo Animal Craft Week. So we are going to be making a lion today. So here is our model. So we're gonna be following this model. So let's look at what we're going to be using today. I do have my markers out, my liquid glue. I'm going to have my scissors. We're gonna be using our scissors to cut out some things. I have a small yellow piece of cardstock paper. I have some yellow paint that we're gonna be using. I do have some jumbo Google eyes today that we're going to be using for our lion. I have one black pom-pom that we're going to be using. We do need a paintbrush and I have a small plain white paper plate. And this is some brown shred paper, kind of like the kind you put in Easter baskets. So this is what we're gonna be using, this brown shredded paper today. And I have my wax paper out because uh, we are going to be using paint. So the first thing we're going to do is our paper plate here is painted yellow for our lion. So we're gonna be painting that first. So let's grab our paintbrush and our yellow paint and let's paint our plate. Let's get started with that. I'm just gonna swirl some yellow paint all around till we get the paint completely covered up. I'm gonna do the center and then go out to the edges to try to get those grooves. And please apply as much paint as you need to cover your plate. I think I might need a little bit more around the edge. So there we go. Just to get in those grooves. Okay. Try to cover it up as much as possible. Okay, and I think we got it. Okay, so there is my yellow paper plate. So this is going to be the face of our lion. So the next thing we're going to do is you have a small piece of yellow cardstock paper and this is going to be the ears. Let me hold this up for you. This is going to be the ears for our lion back here, okay? So we're gonna fold it over in half, crease the edge, and I'm going to grab my scissors and I'm just gonna cut out one ear, but since we have our paper folded over, it's actually gonna make two, we need two. If you need to use your pencil to trace it, please do so. So there we have our two ears and we're gonna glue these on next. We're gonna use our liquid glue. Now let me push this down. Okay. You can glue them on the front of your paper plate or you can glue them on the back. Um, it doesn't really matter. So we're gonna go ahead and glue ours on the front. So I'm gonna apply some glue there just so our ears of our line peek out a little bit. So there's one. And as your glue dries, the cardstock paper will set in place. We're using liquid glue because since we're gluing along the edge where the grooves are, uh, the liquid glue would be best for that area of the plate. Okay, let's clean that off. So we have our ears for our lion, okay? The next thing we're going to do is we're gonna glue on what we need for the face of our lion. I do have a 
pom-pom. So we're going to glue this right in the center for our nose. There we go. The next thing I have is we're going to put on his Google eyes and they're going to go just right above the nose of our lion. Let's grab our glue. We're going to do one and two. Okay, so there we go. That's what we have so far. And once your glue sets and dries, um, the Google eyes will, will stay in place. It may shift on you a little bit, but that's okay. Once it's laid flat, they'll set in place very nicely. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna grab my black marker. And what we're gonna use this for is for the mouth of our lion and his little whiskers that we have here. So we're gonna use our black marker for that, okay? Let me set that down. And make sure that, okay, so let me scoot that up so you're able to see. All I did was starting right under the nose. There's one for our mouth. And I went ahead and added some little spots down here at the bottom with my marker go along with our model. There we go. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to give our lion some whiskers and we're going to use our black marker as well for that. So I did three on one side and three on the other side. I'm going to start at the bottom. Go one, two, and three. We're going to do the same thing to the other side. One, two, three. Okay. And you can do them as long or as short as you'd like. Okay, let me hold that up for you so you're able to see. Okay, there we go. Now the next thing we're going to do is we are going to grab our brown paper shred that we have here. And this is going to go all around the plate. So it's going to um, outline the plate all around his face like this. So we are going to be using our liquid glue to apply this. Um, you may notice this actually um, does take a while to dry. So I'm going to take some out. Even though it is paper, the way it is shaped, um, not all of it is going to reach the plate all at once. So you will need plenty of glue and your craft will have to stay flat for, for a while till it all sets nice in place. Okay, so we're gonna apply our glue and we're gonna put our paper shred all around. So we'll do one section at a time. And I'm gonna start up here between the ears until we have it completely covered on the outside. Gonna push that down. Okay. And then once we have it outlined completely, um, we're able to glue if it's too far in, we're able to glue, put some more glue and scoot it more to the outer edge. So so it doesn't cover up your eyes too much or your mouth. Okay. I'm going to keep going until I get all the way around. And once again, uh, this paper shred uh, will need plenty of glue. And then once we lift it up, and I'll show you in a few minutes, once we lift it up, you are going to have some excess shredded paper that's going to fall right off, but that's okay. That's going to fall off and then we can just put more glue and glue it back down because not all of it is gonna to touch the plate all at once. We kinda of need to add some where we need it. I'm gonna work on this side now. Okay. Put a little bit more. And you can do as much or as less as you'd like. You don't have to put as much as I have here. 
You can always just do a few, uh, a few strips of shred paper. You don't have to do it um, as much as this, but I'm gonna try to follow our model and do it as similar as possible. Okay, so there we go. Once we have our shred outlined, Okay, and I'm gonna lift it up and you're gonna see how there's gonna be some pieces that are gonna fall off, kind of like the way we do when we um, use glitter. The excess will shake off, but that's okay. Okay, let me lift that up for you. Okay, see there's a little bit that came off, not too much, so that's not too bad. So there we go. We covered our, our line with some shred paper and if you'd like to apply more, if you'd like to shake it off some more and so some more falls off, it's totally up to you. This is your creation, however you'd like. So, and like I said, this will take some time to dry. So please lay it flat down on a flat surface uh, to allow that shred paper to, to stick good on there. So here is our lion. Thank you guys so much for joining me for this awesome arts and crafts project. You guys are the ones that make it awesome. So. Thank you so much and I'll be seeing you soon. Bye-bye.